this is me giving you guys a warning about three weeks ago. I don't know. Check it out. That's what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about some fryers. Y'all stay tuned. That's right. You heard right. You heard from deep from the past. Fryers. We're talking about the four gallon. It's over there. Stainless steel. Bayou Classic fryer. Now, this thing is really cool. Alright, now I'm giving it a thumbs up. Uh, I will say that versatility wise, if you're looking for something that's going to handle like a bird or something like that, big bird turkey, something like that, probably don't want to look here. But if you're looking for something that you can put on top of your inside of like a food truck or something like that, then this is right up your alley because it's NSF uh, approved. And, uh, you know, you can stick it anywhere and go it has like little holes in the legs like you can literally uh bolt it down to the floor and uh keep it pushing make money if you want to uh, i do have a different fryer that i am going to show you that you can do a turkey on uh well you can compare them for yourself but uh, i'll cook on that and you know see how you like it but here's the video did it about a year ago a uh, few there's gonna be a few more from about a year ago so uh you guys are gonna get probably a little snippet of a rotisserie brisket Anyway, you know what? I just paused for a second. Um, I'm not going to tell you all the stuff that was in the past. I'm just going to show you eventually. So we're going to roll it. <laughs> Have fun with this one, though. It's the intro. D's cute. It's the intro. It's time to eat. It's the intro. D's cute. It's the intro. What time is it? It's time to eat. Daddy, maybe you should stick to cooking. All right, let's go eat. All right, so we are going to just do a quick little once over with this bad boy right here. It's the four gallon Bayou Classic uh, Fryer. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty simple. Uh, it's been out here, it's been out, what, about a year now. So I figured might as well go ahead and introduce it to the world. Not very complex. All right, so let's talk about it real quick because I need to start heating up this oil. First and foremost, stainless steel body. So if you don't want yours to look like this, you can get that stainless steel oven cleaner after it starts looking a little yucky. Um, two baskets, boom, boom. As you're frying, you drop them, rest on there. When you're draining, rest them up there. Lid stays open this entire time uh, while you're heating in, while you're cooking. They recommend switching these out if you're doing like a whole lot of frying. I won't have to really switch those out too often because I don't fry a whole lot. But they recommend that you switch these out if you do a lot of frying. Uh, just not, you know, don't rely on the accuracy. Or at least that's what I was told. Uh, I talked with a lot of really nice people uh, from the their brokers for the product, if you will. Not the manufacturing themselves, but you know the prices are the, the spare parts super cheap, and they get to you really fast. If I can remember the name, I'll drop that. If anyone's interested, you have to ask because I'm not going to look for it. Little drain plug down here for the oil. Old oh, beat up. I'm gonna take this off before I drain the oil. Uh, and back here is basically the nuts and bolts. Sorry about all the clutter, y'all, but I'm doing a little something in my backyard. Uh, you hook it up to a propane tank, 10 PSI, hooks up to the back, the back, uh, you turn on the gas, light your fire, put your fire in there, the fire goes through there, heats the oil by having this component heat up, and then the exhaust comes out here so you want to make sure that no one is standing behind here you want to make sure that it, it has a clearance so that you don't accidentally ruin something or have something catch on fire now the beautiful thing about this is it has that v-shape at the bottom i'll just rinse this out y'all this is all water in here uh i'll dry it out a little bit before i put the oil in but it has the v-shape at the bottom uh, as you can see boom okay and what happens is it keeps the 
oil a little cleaner because as you're cooking up here, all of your crumbs and you know, things that settle drop down there towards the bottom and away from what you're cooking. And so it doesn't really burn like it will if you were using a pot or uh, something that whose sole purpose was not to fry. So I'm gonna fill this thing up and I'm gonna get it heated and uh, we're gonna start some cooking. I'll just show you probably one drop in it, uh, but for the most part, this is a self-explanatory, uh, pretty nifty little thing. All right, so here's everything that's all nice and Here's the setup. Got the secret ingredients back there. Got the Andes. Got all that good stuff. And I'm experimenting with this swipe right here with the milk. Hold on, I'm trying to grab a piece out before we pass. All right, so just kind of give him a little dip. Nice industrial sized bow. Make sure that everything's coated nice. Nice and even. So basically, take that. Obviously, you want to do it more than one at a time, but I'm just kind of out here shaking off cobwebs. Notice my temperature is in a nice, safe place. And then, that's pretty much the end result right there. All right, y'all. Hope it helped. This thing is pretty simple. It's the Bayou Classic 4-Gallon Fryer. They uh, also sell a big basket. And uh, if you want to have one big one instead of doing two, uh, I think it's pretty convenient. Once I'm done, I'll drain that oil into a filter, funnel it back, and use it again. All right, y'all. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Peace.